Welcome to this InfoSecurity Europe podcast. I'm Jenny Radcliffe. I'm the founder of a company called Human Factor Security, where I am the director and head of social engineering. Um, and what that involves is training, uh, content creation uh, around the topic of human vulnerabilities and human factors and security, as well as actually still doing the job um, create, you know, creating uh, pretexts and attacking businesses in an ethical way to simulate criminal attacks using social engineering. My keynote talk at the event is about uh, human-centred vulnerabilities. Um, and what that involves is really, I think, it used to be that people uh, forgot about social engineering, forgot about the human side of things. And I don't think we forget about it anymore. But I do think that this is very context heavy. Uh, the way humans are exploited in security is a very context heavy thing. And I think the last 18 months has taught us all that context can be everything. So my talk's all about why that's important, what's changed, what stayed the same, and how we can address those vulnerabilities to give us a business advantage, as well as a personal sort of protection for all of us as nodes on the network uh, in business. You know, it's still so important for everyone to play their part in cybersecurity. And I think one of the problems is we've always thought of it like, can the cybersecurity function, can we as security professionals sort of pull everyone along and get them enthusiastic and knowledgeable about security? Um, but really, it's not about functions or about what people's job is. We're all cybersecurity uh, practitioners. We all have to be aware of security. You know, even if you were a, a fisherman in a remote lake somewhere, unless you only traded in cash or never had a phone or used any tech at all, we need to be aware of security measures to do with technology and computers and the internet and everything else. So when we apply that to our business context, what that means is that we're all part of this now. It's more important than ever because the attacks are bigger, they're more wide ranging. Um, and, and people do still mistake that for being a technical problem when actually most attacks have got a human element at the heart of them so it's just as important more important than ever to make sure that people really understand that and keep them across this topic no matter what their job is i think right now the most important steps an organization can take to really empower their staff is to remember that everyone's still under stress but still needs direction so we've got to make it easy for people to do the right thing. And this is a great opportunity to do that because as we reboard people, as we bring people back into the workplace, we can show them some of the things that we needed them to know before the pandemic started, right? So to empower people is to give them knowledge, give them reasons, make it easy for them to do it uh, and do the right thing. And then really that helps to create a sort of evangelist at home, you know, make them the champion of their own home. You know, the person that goes back and checks the security and knows what they're doing and knows who to go to if they get stuck. So I think that really helped. You've got to treat this as an individual problem, an individual person problem, a human problem that they can bring either good or bad practice back into the workplace as we all return to office work. What I'm really keen to see at this event in October is you know, everyone's perspective on the last 18 months and everyone's projections and thoughts going forward about cybersecurity, about, you know, the year of ransomware attacks that we've had, about what, how we all coped during the pandemic, about reboard and getting back to work. All those things are going to be great to see all those different perspectives of and really see where the industry is um, at this point in time. So I'm looking forward to that in October. Thank you for listening to this InfoSecurity Europe podcast.